Hi, I'm David DeFever from Impact Sports 88.9 FM. This weekend, the Michigan State Spartans hosted the American International Yellow Jackets for a weekend series Friday and then today on Sunday, a 1 p.m. start. The Michigan State Spartans won today 4-0 in a dominated performance. Alongside with me, Lou DeVizio. This game, you know, started off a little slow, but it wasn't until Mackenzie McEachern put in that first goal which really got the ball rolling. Yeah, it was kind of a funny line change by the Yellow Jackets. They, it was in the second period, they had the long change, and they jumped off and uh, Spartans just head man the puck right out of the zone and handed it right to uh, McEachern. He tried to give it over to Ebbing, who Ebbing hasn't scored a NCAA goal yet. He wanted to give it to his buddy, both hometown uh, uh, of Troy. So he wanted to get him the goal. Ebbing threw it off the bar there and uh, McEachern stayed straight in front of the net. Uh, like Coach Anastas talked about after the game, got a stop at the net and he got himself a goal. And there you go. And after that goal happened, you know, we saw the discipline of the Yellow Jackets. Obviously, they got out of hand, giving the Michigan State Spartans multiple power plays. And then Greg Wolf actually capitalized on one of those, beating the goaltender over the high glove. Yeah, it was finally nice to see the Spartans cash in on the power plays. It still didn't look too good out there for the power play, honestly. I don't know how many they had. Uh, quite a few power play chances, but I mean, it, it was still nice to see Wolf get that one. Uh, high glove came down. It's the way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> And then Mackenzie McEachern also found the back of the net for a second time, getting that gritty goal, really standing out front to give the Spartans a, a 3 0 lead and basically set sail for victory. Yeah, it's just like what Anas was talking about. He says he tells these guys 10,000 times a week, you got to stop on the net, stop on the net, because that's where the puck, that's where you got to put the puck in. You can't score from behind the net unless you're Wayne Gretzky. So that's exactly what McEachern did and cashed in on it. Yes, and the Spartans added a fourth goal by freshman Joe Cox, who it was a, a very nice setup play from Ferentino to, Gene, to Dean Chelios and then over to Cox, who basically had an open net back door. Yeah, I think, I think that line played really well all night. Uh, and that's just also talking about Ferentino and how he's just a, he just tries hard every shift. He's one of those effort guys. He might not have the skill set of, you know, a wolf or uh, another skilled guy on the team like McEachern, but... He really has that drive, and he works well with a guy like Chelios, and it, it worked out giving Cox that goal there. And not only did the Spartans sweep this weekend, but we saw a little bit of Will Yanikev, senior goaltender, got the start tonight, posted a shutout, eighth career, first this season. What can you say about this goaltending crew with Hildebrand and Yanikev and moving forward with the Spartans? Well, it's really, it, for any hockey team, it's nice to have two goalies that you can trust because it doesn't matter who's in the net, you know that there's, you got your backbone back there who's going to stock pucks for you. You don't have to worry about, you know, a turnover or something like that. And it makes, and then in turn you create less turnovers because you're not worried about it. So it's really nice to have those guys back there for them. Uh, the players talked about it after the game and it, it, it's a nice thing. And there you have it, the Spartans dominated the American International Yellow Jackets today with a final score of 4-0. Michigan State will head to Michigan Tech next weekend for an away series and hopefully they can string together a couple more wins.